हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड नॉन लीनियर डिस्टॉर्शन व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज हार्मोनिक डिस्टॉर्शन ए नॉन लीनियर डिस्टॉर्शन विल अकर विद लार्ज सिग्नल वेयर इनपुट सिग्नल एंड आउटपुट रिस्पांस बिकम डिस्टॉर्टेड एज शोन इन फिगर ए सो नॉन लीनियर डिस्टॉर्शन अकर्स विद लार्ज सिग्नल्स व्हिच मींस if the input signal is large then the input signal and output response will become distorted as shown in this figure a as you can observe here the input signal is very large that's why the output signal has become distorted as you can observe here in the positive half we are having the large signal and in the negative half we are having a small signal so this signal represents non linear distortion so non linear distortion occurs with large signals these non linear distortion produces harmonics so non linear distortion occurs due to large signal and these non linear distortion produces harmonics for example if we consider a sinusoidal voltage with fundamental frequency of 1 kilohertz then the distorted output contains sinusoidal voltage with frequency 1 kilohertz 2 kilohertz 3 kilohertz and so on these harmonics are shown in figure b so for example if we consider a sinusoidal voltage with frequency 1 kilohertz then the distorted output contains sinusoidal voltage with frequency 1 kilohertz 2 kilohertz 3 kilohertz and so on as shown in this figure b so in this figure b 1 kilohertz is the fundamental frequency and 2 kilohertz 3 kilohertz 4 kilohertz and so on are the frequencies due to distortion hence 1 kilohertz is known as fundamental frequency and other frequencies are known as harmonics so 1 kilohertz is the fundamental frequency and other frequencies are known as harmonics so 1 kilohertz is fundamental frequency and other frequencies are harmonics so rms value of these harmonics will tell us how much distortion has occurred that's why the non linear distortion is also known as harmonic distortion so here the rms value of these harmonics will tell us how much distortion has occurred hence non linear distortion is also known as harmonic distortion the distortion analyzer is the instrument used to measure distortion so distortion analyzer is the instrument that is used to measure the distortion we can find total harmonic distortion by using the formula total harmonic voltage divided by fundamental voltage into 100% so we can find total harmonic distortion by using the formula total harmonic voltage divided by fundamental voltage into 100% if total harmonic voltage is 0.1 volt and fundamental voltage is 1 volt then we can find total harmonic distortion as 0.1 divided by 1 into 100% so total harmonic distortion will be equal to 10% So here we have taken an example where total harmonic voltage is 0.1 volt and fundamental voltage is 1 volt. So if we substitute these two values in this formula, we will get total harmonic distortion as 10%. Similarly, we can find closed loop harmonic distortion by using the formula. Closed loop total harmonic distortion can be given as open loop total harmonic distortion. 
divided by 1 plus open loop gain multiplied with feedback the fraction. So closed loop harmonic distortion can be found using the formula open loop harmonic distortion divided by 1 plus open loop gain multiplied with feedback fraction. So here you need to remember that the negative feedback will reduce the total harmonic distortion. So you need to remember that negative feedback that is connected to an amplifier will reduce the total harmonic distortion. And also if we take 1 plus AVOL into B as very large, this will also reduce total harmonic distortion. So if you consider 1 plus AVOL into B as very large, at that case the total harmonic distortion will be negligible. So this is about nonlinear distortion or harmonic distortion. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.